Right, so that is where we're at at the moment. Just got here. And yesterday and the day before, speaking to the neighbours, we've agreed, we've shaken, or they've shaken, the, the neighbours, that this is going to be the final height. Which is a bit of a pain for me because the roof was going to go on top. 6 by 2 s like this were going to go on top. I was going to raise this edge a little bit just to give it a bit of a slope because on this half there's going to be a bench and table and things in this bit and he's going to cook in that bit and they were going to put a you know like a bit of a plastic sheet on the top a wriggly or flat don't know but now the roof is going inside so I either bolt one of those 6 by 2s on the inside but we're not using joist hangers inside because they're ugly so i was just going to coach screw it on i'm not keen on that for floors but i think for the roof it'd be all right but the joists were going to be sitting on top of this you know with a 6 by 2 along the front just to give it a a clean look you know i i'd prefer to put noggins in between each one because that you know that that stiffens the joists up stops them cockling over but then you know through the battens on the front here you'd see like noggins and you know it'd be it'd be all over the place probably knowing my noggins anyway um so i just wanted a single solid board going straight through maybe put noggins at the back but same again you know on the inside you'd see all nails and everything so i was just going to do a single board straight through at the back as well um but like I so said, now it's it's going inside, and uh, I draw these, I plan these in my head, you know. And when it comes to building it, it's just it's just like a jigsaw puzzle. You just put it together. So now I've got a choice: do I cut down that back wall, which won't be so bad if the if those two by two buttons on the top there weren't on, but they are. So. If I fix one of these on that back wall, I can't screw through because the distance, you know, it's, it's four inch plus the two inch pattern. It's six inch, I'd need a really long screw drill bit. I won't be able to hold the joist while I screw it, you know, it's a pain. So cut off the top of there, sit it on like this one, or just bolt it on and try screw it on. I could maybe get this joist on with all these and then slide the whole thing back against the wall. You know, put some kind of skids on the wall here. Like I said, there's no plastic roof going on anymore. There's no plastic roof going on anymore. This roof's gonna be flat, no pitch on it. So I think I'm gonna take that 4x2 off the top there I think, but we've already worked out three buttons, so maybe not. You see, my head's a mess now. Screwed it up, haven't I? We'll see. Uh, now that it seems happy with the with the opening, I'll cut that piece of four by two out there. This could be a new post, you know, a four by four new post that goes down I'd have to half lap it over that so sods law says that I'd get broken in some time get broken one day but there's going to be a table built at the back here which will stiffen that and once I get all the buttons on that should stiffen it a bit as well so it's not ideal but that's the way it's staying now uh, I'm just working out I've got to put some bracing in the corners and I'm just going to go 45 degrees, you know, everything's square on this thing. So I don't think that is enough. I think it wants to be, you know, a bit more further down, which means I've got to half lap it on that, on that timber. That's just a piece of 2 by 2 at the moment. It's going to be 4 by 2 like this. But it gives me an idea of... I just don't think that's sufficient. 
I think it needs to not right to that corner but I think maybe halfway you know between those two I'll move that down and have a look uh, I don't think it's exactly 45 but it's near enough but that's sort of more like what I want they're going to be the same all the way around and then there's going to be that 6 inch cover in the top so, six inch of roof that is. So it's going to be the same there. There, we've got a big window to cut in there yet. Then that's lower. But that's going to get covered by six inch. Mm. If the roof was just going on top, <coughs> I wouldn't have quite so many thoughts in my head. I think that's about it. So I just dolted that a little bit. So it's the same distance across as it is down. I think that's it. Uh, he's not here, so he can't decide. He's the photographer I did the pyramids for, by the way. So he's, you know, he's got got an eye for detail, or you know, he sort of knows what he wants and what he don't want, or what he likes and what he don't like. But if I go for it at that now and cut into the joist, then <laughs> it is what it is, then, isn't it? Right, I've just had to go for a drive, spend some money that I haven't got, well, I have got. My plan was, fix a, fix a 45 degree fence to my track, clamp that on, and just use my track saw to cut out the, cut out the notches. But, a lot of my tools are still in the shed, you know, I haven't finished racking out the van out. And it's not there, so my house is, is miles away. There's a shop down the road that sell da -da -da -da, toys. Looks like I'm on the Makita slippery slope, the 18 volt slippery slope. Um, I was going to buy one of these anyway, but maybe not right now. But yeah, it's done now, isn't it? So. He's sort of paid me up to date for this, you know, he's quite happy with that. Um, and I've spent quite a big lump now. Hmm. Never mind. Got a new toy. Can you be happy and sad at the same time? We'll see. I've just had a play with it and it's quite nice. Seems quite nice anyway.
Right, I've got a, a round deburring bit, but this little trend bit seems to work quite well. See, nice, nice round shavings. See how that goes, huh? I know that that's two inch. I ain't quite gone through it, so. Fraction deeper. Don't know where to hold it. I'll move it down. I don't think there's a knot in here, but if I find one with a knot, I'll do lots of cuts. Like chewing gum.
Thank you. Can I get it back out? Everything's black. It's all going black. Black, that's black. That's black. The decking's black. The roof's going to be black. And in a minute, that brace is going to be black. Right, so that's one in. To do this one, I need to alter that little fence. You know, I'll just move one screw over and do that. But while it's set up, I'll go around and do all that I can. It's going to be shorter, I'm going to have to work it off that one. Anyway, that's in. Right, I am glad I bought that saw. No lead to fanny around with. It's one of them jobs that's paid for a tool, but to be fair, that's how I bought most of my tools, so it's not too bad. I got quite a good deal on it. Right, I'll go around and do the rest. Big knot there. Chisel on that. Try to put it in one handed. Big hammer. Get some paint on it. 